good YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the channel about sneakers. I'm your host Crusoe's and on today's episode we are going to get into a sneaker that I personally believe is a top five sneaker of 2023. This came out in the summer I believe in January, February, March, April, May, June. Uh, the sixth month of the year and we are right now currently about to enter November so we got a few more releases coming up and things like that but I've seen a few releases that's coming out I still think these are top five sneakers these are definitely in my top five sneakers of 2023 I got the box open because it took forever to do that but this is going to honestly be my first reaction, my first time seeing them in person. I've seen them on videos. I've seen them on Instagram, an actual YouTuber, um, The Vault, DTX. Uh, they got over there, Matt something. He uh, actually bought these on one of his videos a while back. And that's what really made me want to get them. So I haven't seen them in person yet, but I'm about to open the box up. We're going to get into this review slash impression slash why I think it's a top five sneaker of 2023. All that good stuff. But without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, like I said, got that box open. Shout out to the seller, by the way. I got these for super under retail. They're going under retail right now. Um, I got these for 170 and I think the retail was two something. It was two something, I know that for a fact. Check go, check StockX, all over the crap. It's under retail, but I got these way under retail because man's was trying to get rid of them. But yeah, hold on, hold on, my bad, my bad. Regular box, MB box. Y'all got some New Balances recently, size seven, you know. The box look like this, it ain't nothing crazy. Size seven, we all know what that look like. Open up the lid, let's see if there's anything crazy here. Um, I'm honestly not too sure if this is, you know, what it is, but yeah, regular MB paper, as you guys can see right here, you can see a little bit of that shoe. Let's peel that paper back and let's, let's, let's get this sneaker out. Let's get it out. So the sneaker we have today, let me not get that wrong, is the 990 V6, V6 Action Bronson in that Lapiece Lavuli, Lavulier, I can't pronounce it, I'm not gonna lie, so for all my English teachers, English majors out there, I'm, I'm messing that name up, correct me in the comment section. But yeah, this is the 990 V6 Action Bronson collab. His brand with New Balance called Baklava, right there on the tongue. He actually dropped two colorways in this specific sneaker. The first colorway, in my personal opinion, absolutely trash. That colorway is terrible. I don't think the colors look well together. I just think it's a bad shoe in terms of the colorway. But with these right here, he did a great job on these. All of these colors match beautifully. I think they go together very much. The only thing that throws me off a little bit is that purple heel tab or whatever, but it's in the back. You're gonna wear pants with it nine times out of 10. You're not gonna see it. It's fine. But other than that, the rest of the shoe, everything complements each other. Even these, I think these are the same color laces that are on the old Timberland boots. I remember these when I was little because I had Timberland boots. I remember those. I think these are the same laces that were in Timberland boots, or at least the same color pattern, which they might look crazy, but I think they complement the shoe pretty well. Does these even come with extra? No, they don't come with no extra laces. So these are the laces you're going with. I think they're fire. I think they're dope. Um, for those who don't know, Action Bronson is a songwriter slash chef slash, I believe he did some wrestling and stuff too. He been everywhere. He got songs with like, ASAP Rocky, Kendrick Lamar, Chance the Rapper. He did a song on that Suicide Squad movie with Will Smith. The man is famous. He finally got a collab with New Balance. He dropped those first ones that I already put on the screen. And then of course he dropped these. He also teased another collab potentially coming up. Um, yeah, that, that's just who Action Bronson is. But with that being said, let's get into some details of this sneaker right here. Now the dope thing in my opinion about the sneakers that you have a mix of materials here. As you can see in that navy blue coloring, that is suede. But then as you get to the top of the sneaker, more towards the eyelids, it's the same suede material, but the blue shading gets slightly lighter. Of course, you got that big N New Balance branding in 3M right there in that gray with the black trim. Sock liner is the same silver as the 3M hits around the shoe. 
And then on the inside insoles, you actually have a different color in a neon green. You got baklava at the top and of course, New Balance right underneath it. And last but not least, the back of the shoe, you see you got that purple heel tab, New Balance branding right here and then the rest of the color palettes going down. I mentioned earlier in the video, the colorway is kind of crazy. If you've seen the first colorway that he dropped, you know that he's a big fan of just adding colors that complement each other well versus just going with a regular color palette that most sneakers do, which is like red, black, white, or blue, white, black, something like that. He decided to put different shades of blue, throw in some pop of color with the laces and that back heel tab, but like I said, I just believe all these colors complement each other very well. And it looks like a very good fall slash winter shoe. Could you rock these in the summer? Obviously you can rock them whenever you want, but I do think they complement those seasons very well. But what you would be wearing with those darker tones, those darker hues of color, it just screams fall and winter in my personal opinion. So I got these right in time, November around the corner, fall here already, winter around the corner. So these will definitely be broken out. Just gotta find something to wear with it. I think some gray cargos, some super dark gray cargos would look very well with these or maybe even some some olive cargos. I'm not really too sure. Y'all see when y'all follow me on Instagram, at QAGRI by the way. So stay updated with all my fit pics, you know, my new heat, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I personally think they're a top five sneaker of 2023. If you don't, I understand why. This is something that you don't really see on my channel. I'm big on Nike, I'm big on Jordan. Obviously, y'all know I'm huge on Jordan. But sometimes, to have a good sneaker collection, you gotta have variety, you know? I got a couple of pair of New Balances y'all seen on this channel, Silly Hey Bimbries. I got the 99 V2s or V V something. Just go back and look at what those are. And now we got some 990 V6s right here. And they just look good. I love them. Maybe it's because it's collab. I don't know. Who cares? Wear what you like. But with that being said, you know the quote, you know the motto to end it all off. I don't know if I'll have a on foot. Stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll throw something on for y'all. With that being said, you know the quote, you know the motto to end the video all off. Aim high. Spread love. I'm out.